sniff out and find marijuana? And by the way, he's an officer, correct? Yes, yes, yes he is. So we understand, officer, that this has become a problem because cases are being overturned. One that we're reading about in a dog named Kilo. Well, the reasoning is, is because people do, with marijuana being legal, have a reasonable expectation of privacy for that particular odor. When we talk about dogs and the way they work, the dogs are locating an odor that they're trained to detect. Um, the case up in Moffat County, the courts brought up the fact that well, wait, this dog is trained in marijuana, so how do we know he didn't indicate, you know, right. some marijuana? I don't believe that they actually found any marijuana. They actually found some drug paraphernalia with residue of meth on it, but the court ruled that the he been smelling for marijuana, that's now legal. Yeah, the United States Supreme Court has ruled that when officers have probable cause to believe that there's illegal, and in this case, what is used substances such as drugs, inside a vehicle, we built up probable cause, we can search that. Well, so if, were the dogs considered probable cause? Before the recent ruling in Moffat County, right, yes. Right, It sounds like judges now are saying, well, wait a second, we don't know if they were really probable cause because if they were smelling marijuana, that's legal. Yes, um, and then that brought into question the dogs that are currently trained on marijuana. Yeah. Buddy. Right here. Go get the plant from the earth. No, 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 not the pills.